Hi friends! Today we will learn what is matter. So let's start. Air all around us is made up of matter. Water you drink is also made up of matter. Your books, your bag, food you eat, clothes you wear are all made up of matter or just Everything you see all around is made up of matter. Definition of matter is Matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. Now let's understand this definition. First point is Matter has mass. It means matter has some weight. Second point is It occupies space. It means Matter needs space. Let's take an example to prove it. We learned that everything is made up of matter. So let's take a few things and see are they made up of matter. First is water. We have to see if water is made up of matter. It should have mass and occupy space. Take an empty tumbler and weigh it. Now fill it with water and again weigh it. Which tumbler has more weight? The filled tumbler has more weight. It means that water has mass or it has weight. Now can you add anything to a tumbler which is already full? No, you cannot add anything to a tumbler which is already full with water or any other liquid. So it means that water or any liquid occupies space. So water or any liquid has mass and occupies space. So it is matter. Now here is another thing and it is a table. We have to see if this is made up of matter. And for that, we have to prove it has mass and it occupies space. Weigh the table. It has weight. Now, can you place another table at the same place where a table is already there? No, you cannot. So, table occupies space. So table or any solid object has mass and occupies space. So it's made up of matter. Now we will see whether air is made up of matter. And in order to prove that air is made up of matter, we should be able to prove that air has mass and occupies space. Now, take an empty balloon and weigh it. Now fill the same balloon with air and again weigh it. Which balloon has more weight? Filled balloon will have more weight. It means that air has mass or it has some weight. Now let's see if air occupies space. Now which balloon occupies more space? A empty balloon or a filled balloon? A filled balloon occupies more space, so it means that air occupies space too. So air has mass and occupies space. So we can say air is made up of matter. So kids, now we know matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. And everything around us, including the air, is made of matter. Now we will see what is matter made up of. Matter. Matter is made up of tiny microscopic particles called molecules. And further molecules are made up of atoms. The density and the space between particles of matter determine what type of matter it is. A solid, a liquid, or a gas.
So, states of matter can be solid, liquid, or gaseous, depending on the density and the space between the particles of the matter. Now, we will learn about the different states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. First, let's learn about the solid state of matter. The matter that is a solid state, like wooden objects, plastic objects, and steel objects. The particles are very tightly packed and cannot move at all. And so that is why solid objects cannot change shape and remain in the same shape unless large force is applied on a solid object to make it change its shape. Next, we have liquids. Liquid objects like water, juice, milk, or just any liquid particles are loosely packed and can move. And this is why liquid objects can change their shape. Example, water takes the shape of the container we pour it into. And if we pour water in a glass, shape of water is same as that of the glass. If you pour the same water in a bowl, it will take the shape of a bowl. And if you spill water on the floor, it will again change its shape. This is all because the particles in a liquid object are loosely packed and they can move freely. Now, third form of matter is gaseous state. In gaseous objects like air, perfumes, Steam particles are very, very loosely packed, even much more loose than the liquid, and can move very freely. And so that is why gaseous objects do not have any shape. They take the shape of their container. What is the shape of air in this room? It is the same as that of the room. What is the shape of air in this balloon? It is same as that of the balloon. And so that is why gaseous objects do not have any shape. They take the shape of their container and they do not have even a fixed volume as the particles are very loosely packed and they are free to move. So kids, today we learned what is matter properties of matter, and different states of matter. Okay, kids, now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.